looked at what I talked about last year a little bit in some of those notes. And last year we had so many question marks. We were going to be a young football team. We thought we had a, a, a talented quarterback who was going to be new in our scheme. And, and uh, you know, I, I've been affiliated with Hastings College now for 11 seasons, and a six and five season um, historically is not considered a, a winning season or, or a successful season. But uh, for us, I think it was exactly what we needed. Um, it's been three years since we've been back to the postseason. It's our number one goal coming in this year. Um, we think we have the people in place that allow us to do that. Um, it starts with us on offense at quarterback. Um, Dayton Edwards is a young man that now has a, a year in our scheme. Um, is very familiar with what I want him to do and, and the players around him. You know, when I look at his statistics from a year ago, the one thing that really glares uh, or stands out to me is the 14 interceptions. So. That's something that I think over the spring we talked a lot about and we worked real hard on and, and he was able to stay away from a lot of those mistakes. And again, I think that has to do with knowing what he's doing and, and, and the people that he's working with. But he's had a great off season and, and looking forward to uh, him coming in and making plays for us. Um, I think a year ago it was more of with Dayton managing the game where now he needs to step up and, and make plays and lead this offense from, from the first game to the last. So I think uh, you know I, what I'd say with him, is since I've been at Hastings, I've coached four quarterbacks. He's one of the four. And from a throwing standpoint, he understands the passing game better um, than any of, the, any of the other three. So hopefully we can equate that and turn that into a lot of wins. I think having the skilled people back is going to help him. You know, it, we were able to do some okay things, I think, um, without uh, a year ago without our best athlete, Maurice Mansfield. Maurice is a guy that just brings so much to the table in terms of being able to catch the football, um, being able to run the football, being able to do things in special teams. Um, so having him for a full season is going to be something that we're really looking forward to. We also added uh, a transfer from uh, UNO and David Shohan. Uh, David's a young man that came out of Lakeview three years ago, uh, played quite a bit as a freshman at UNO as a wide receiver. He's just a big physical guy that can run well. And he's probably the most physical receiver um, I've seen in a long time in our program. And so just looking forward to seeing him do some things. Uh, you'll see him everywhere. He'll be on our kickoff team. He'll be on our punt team. He may be returning kick. Uh, he can bring a lot. He's got one year of eligibility. We're going to try to get four years out of one um, and use him as much as we can. He's just a, he's a big time player. We've also, at the receiver position, brought in uh, four wide receivers that are over 6'3". It was one of the things that we just felt we needed to address. We were getting too short at wide receiver. Um, you know, we like to, like a lot of these coaches, like to have a bigger guy out there, uh, especially when you get near the goal line and you're in the red zone and you can do some things with a bigger player. So we're pretty excited about those guys we have coming in. At running back, uh, Dan Bargain, it'll be his senior season. Um, he's had a, a very good career for us. I'd really love to see Dan, uh, not only for me, but for him to make it through a whole season without an injury. I think if he does, he could really uh, do some great things for us. Uh, has great vision, physical back, um, you know, and he's going to compete with, with Nick Grummer. Nick was a young man who brought in from Beatrice a year ago. Um, I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think it was right around game six or seven, he was leading the conference in Russia. Um, and he got injured, and, and, and uh, you know, things started to change a little bit with us offensively. But, uh, you know, so he's a young man that we're going to look for some good things as well. So we think we have some weapons for Dayton to work with. Um, in the offensive line, it's going to be very, very difficult to replace Brandon Jacobitz and Evan Klineski. There's no uh, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, two all conference, first team all conference performers. Um, as most of you know, we like to run the football and it starts with the big boys at the front. We brought in a couple of transfers. Um, we got a young man back that was out with injury last year by the name of Michael Stout. Had a great spring. So, you know, we think we've got some guys uh, up front and, and some younger kids that. Maybe a lot of people don't know about, but it'll be able to rotate in for us and, and be able to do some good things. So I think with the three guys we have returning, plus Mark Schmeckley at tight end, um, we're going to be able to do some things and, and be able to protect the quarterback and try to make some plays. Um, defensively, um, in the defensive line, uh, two true freshmen that started towards the end of the season for us, Jake Mueller and Pete Bakken, will return. Um, it's it's kind of scary sometimes when you talk about sophomores being the anchor of your defensive line, but they're two very physical, big players. Um, we also added two transfers, one by the name of Jeremy Opperly, out of started as a true freshman at Western State, and then Cody Swanson, who played uh, a year up at Iowa Central and started up there. So those two linemen in there, they're going to help, and we brought quite a few defensive linemen in. 
Um, that we, we, we feel pretty comfortable when we be able to do the things we need to do in the defensive line. That backer, uh, especially inside, you know, Matt Kemge, like Maurice Mansfield is our guy on offense, Matt Kemge is our guy on defense. Everything we do evolves around him. Uh, he was really banged up throughout the year and, and, and did, some, did as many things as he could, but you know, we focused a lot of things again around him in the spring. Um, Jeremy Opoli's brother Josh is also uh, a linebacker transfer from Western State. He also played there. Um, we also got a, a linebacker, and that's not a misprint by the name of Indiana Jones, and he's, he's a heck of a football player out in New Mexico. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of crazy in recruiting that, um, you know, see, we get so many things, and these coaches will tell you, you get so many things in the internet and via mail and all those types of things, and to be honest, the reason why I put his film on and looked at his information was because of his name, and a uh, heck of a football player, going to do some very good things for us as a true freshman. And then I think uh, an outside linebacker, one of the guys we added, Riley Nicola out of St. Cecilia and Hastings is a heck of a football player, very athletic, can do a lot of things in special teams as well. So pretty happy with, with where we're at there. In the secondary, uh, you know, two years ago I stood up here and, and whined a lot because we were going to have all freshmen in the secondary. Well, now they're all juniors and I feel, a lot, I feel pretty good about what they're going to be able to do, so you won't hear me whine about my secondary, at least right now. Um, and then we also returned uh, Gavin Rodriguez, who had a punter and a kicker. And, that was something we were concerned with a year ago. Had a great freshman season. The kids got a great leg and, and uh, really uh, excited about the, him becoming a weapon for our offense as well as our defense. So um, our opener is at Peru State on, on, on August 30th, and then our home opener, conference opener against Dillon the week after. So um, it's right around the corner. We're pretty excited. I think uh, you know probably our number one goal, and we joke around about it a little bit. It's, it's kind of a joke, and kind of we, we'd like our number one goal. We'd like to play Northwestern this year. That would mean that we would be in the postseason, and that's our that's our number one goal. Or not that I necessarily want to play against you, but uh, the only way on the schedule we're going to get there is if it's in the postseason, and that's that's really our number one goal. So, questions? You've been around a 500 mark the past couple of years. What do you have to do to uh, take this team to the next level? Well, again, I think the, the the players that we have just need to continue to get better. Um, you know, we don't. You know, I, I like the returners that we have. Um, Depth early on is, is going to be a little bit of an issue. I think over a period of time we'll be able to take care of that. So we've got to stay healthy. Um, and, and if we can limit some of those turnovers, I think it will give our defense a chance to, to play a little better and, and, and get us over the hump in some of those games. Yes? Do you have all your injured players back? All the guys that got injured a year ago? Yeah. Thank you.